Well, what are we fixing today? All I can say is... Um, that? But other than that, we're in a creepy basement again, and we're going to do some stuff. Uh, some stuff that I need to get done. So, one is a project that we started on, and I didn't have pizzas for. So, cross my fingers, if I can make them cross. I got pieces. Uh, another is we're going to be a cobbler for a little while. And then after that, if there's time, we're going to see if we can do some uh, machine repair. What do you think? Three things today? I can't even make a three. This, this is the finger that don't bend. Okay, here. Three things today. That's the goal. So, let's get right on the stick. Boom! Okay, first job today is this thing. Now, remember, we took it apart. I took the brushes out. We'll see what's worked better. I might have to sand some off or something. But we'll see. We'll see. Um, so we're going to add the brushes back in. Make sure it works. And if it does work, I think I'm going to put a circuit breaker in here. All right. This is the cover. And then there goes the brush. Now, let's open up the two bags of brushes. See which one works better. That's that one. I bought like lots of them. I think they're like a pack of 20, two packs of 20, right? Two different sizes. So I should be able to like do some surgery and sand some down if I need to to make something work. This is this size. Now this size so I can see. Let's see. There's some there's some side to side on that one, right? It's maybe an eighth of an inch side to side in there. The other dimension is pretty close. It might work. What's this one? This one is tight. Which way? It's tight that way. It's tight both ways. So, I think I'm going to take this. I'm going to sand it a bit. Let's see what I get. Sand this off a little bit. Oh, I think it'll fit. Almost fit, then I sand it a little more. Yes. Okay, now it's going down. There we go. Right. I'm turn it backwards until it, until I feel it pop over a thread there. And then you can go in. That'll keep you from cross turning it. Alright. That's one. That's the other. That's the one I sanded off, I think. There are these ears on here. Look down in the hole. The hole is all along this way. It's square, a rectangle this way. So this has to go in like this and fit down in between there. Now, still unplugged. Plug in hand. Let's just make sure that's turning. 
you hear funny noises, but we're gonna try it. Hold your ears. I think it's I think it's gonna take a while for the brushes to run in, but there's sure sparking in there. Uh, cut. All right. Pull plug. Plug in hand. Test. Nothing. All right, so this is one of the world's war most worn out blades. So that blade can come off too, actually. So I want to get in here, and I want to take this circuit breaker and get it in here if I can. Okay. And I got them off. Okay. Now this one appears to be just in series with the motor. So all I really have to do is get this mounted in here. Drill a hole for it. And I just got to break one of these power lines as they come in. Yeah, I'm just gonna drill a hole in here. Mount this in there, put a couple spade lugs in that, one of those, and the load. But, put that on there, and this on there. I just need a crimp end. There we go. Now, Drill here somewhere. <laughs> well, I didn't do exactly what I wanted, but it should still function. <laughs> okay. So much there. This looks like this screw will hold it. What's in here? Plastic, I hope. So I'm thinking to get this started, I'll get it ballpark and then I can start some of these. Now, you always turn plastic screws into plastic backwards first. Get them in the hole, and then turn them backwards, and then you feel it pop over the thread. Squeeze them in here, otherwise they'll start with a little tappy tap tap. I'm about to take this off. Should I overload this again? Which has happened many times, right? I now have a circuit breaker. The circuit breaker worked well on the old saw. If I get the blade pinch, it will go pop. And 
um, you know, things would be happy and it wouldn't blow up itself, so. That is fixed. Oh, we didn't try it since we uh, fixed the outlet, right? We put in this circuit breaker, so let's just make sure. And it blew the circuit. <laughs> well, I'm not going to bore you, but I'm sure when I put it together, I shorted some wires out. Probably against this case. So I have to take it back apart again. But you've seen me do that. I just got to take it apart and fix the wiring. Because. The breaker's blown now. Yep. All right, job for another day. Next, cobbler. Anybody know what a cobbler is? Let's make sure the circuit's back up. But I think that's the same circuit that runs my home assistant computer, so, you know, probably a good thing to be on. So that works. Crockler. Crockler? Maybe not cobbler? I love my clogs. But I have two of these that are blown out. Ah. Need a rivet cut. I think this is the right one in there. Yep. So then I need to drill a hole. You can do awesome things here. Okay, fixed. Nice, right? Not sharp in here, not sharp out here. And that. And that. Get this to where I kind of want it. A couple little ways. Cobbler work complete. That's my video for today. We did a little uh, work on the bench in the creepy basement. We fixed up this uh, chop saw. Except I shorted it out, so I gotta fix it again. But you know, you see what I did, and I added the circuit breaker. And we fixed a pair of clogs. Clogs? Crocs. Pair of Crocs. Put a couple of uh, rivets in there. You can see this is the rivet I put in here this time. If you look at the other side, 
There's a rivet in there too. <laughs> so this one's been fixed twice. This one's been fixed once. That's still an original. But that's what I did for today. Give me a like if you can. Link is fine. Subscribe is awesome. Uh, I've got some Patreon and some other stuff down there if you want to support my work. Uh, I, I'm there. So, you know, you want to talk to me? i got places to contact down below. In the meantime, make sure you don't get your shoes stuck in the machines. Bye.